Hey, what's up, everybody? So, check it out. This is the problem. You have to access a variable on another script. How do you do that? It's pretty easy, so let's just flip-flop over into it. Say we have a, uh, we'll just create a square cube, and then uh, let's just get a light here real quick, and we'll have, a, say, a circle or a sphere or whatever. And say you have a script A is on the square and script B is on the sphere and you need to access them. So you keep it a good practice, create a folder called scripts. And yes, I write it like that. Then create a new script, C sharp, don't use JavaScript. Script A, and then uh, we need to create another one. Script B, and say script A is on the square, the cube, and script B is on the sphere. Yes, you can go there. So it's check, script B, and script A, and now we need to get them to talk to each other. How do you do that? First, you have to open model develop because that's how you write your code. And while I wait for that to wake, how are you doing? I have a cold. It's actually allergies. Sounds pretty good. And uh, we're just waiting for it to happen. Everything's coming together. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. Oh, it's open. So get rid of this for now. You can leave if you want. Whatever. And so script A is on the cube, right? So say public. Uh, and the script to access is uh, script B. And then make it your own. And then go over here. Cube. Script A. It updated. So script B. Click on that. We know script B is on the sphere. So now we'll be able to communicate with the variables. Say, hey. Oh, we're not going to say that. Uh, at the start, we'll say void start. And uh, we'll call it... Uh, Hello, we want to call hello script B. So we'll say script B. Hello script. Script B is the name of the function, the method, whatever you want to call it. And all you say right here is script B, hello script B. So we're going to have script B, hello script B. And on script B, we have to write that method, that function, whatever. And in order to access it, it must be public also. So we go public, hello, script B, I believe is what I called it. I'll just copy and paste it over in case I did it wrong. And uh, to verify that it worked, hello, yes, I am shouting, and I am script B. So... Uh, sorry, void. So when this starts, what will happen is the cube, which has scripted out, scripted out it once, will hit uh, start method function. It'll say, "Hey, script B script, hello script." It's gonna call it, and to verify it, we'll print this in the console. So let's see what happens. And command P to play it's shortcut and to verify it once it's called, yes. Hello, yes, I'm showing you have script B. So you have accessed script B via script A. And also I keep on doing that. Just to show you what happens when you forget to put public, it won't work. I've done this a million times, so I know. Say so, hey man. And inaccessible to its protection level. So you need to go over here and go. 
public. And again, you can see that works. Go over here, boom, and it works. Hello, yes, I'm shouting, I'm Scrippy. Click on it, and you'll see that. So it's very easy to access scripts via C Sharp on uh, another game object or another script, whatever. And if you like that, you want to see more tutorials, please rate, review, or subscribe. And also check out the Unity podcast on iTunes and Stitcher, Unity 3D News. And you can follow me on Twitter at Unity3DNews. And uh, any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll try to answer. Thanks for watching.